something will change for someone today. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. I just had this some minutes ago. I don't know what is manipulating you or who is manipulating you. But the house of God is the house of deliverance. Are you know what I'm saying now? Scripture says, Mount Zion, there shall be what? Deliverance. So whatever is manipulating your mind to evil, you are before God, the awesome deliverer. Lord, let that spell break. Yeah. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer from your heart. Whatever is manipulating your mind, your thoughts, your actions to evil. Scripture says we have the mind of Christ. Jesus didn't give you his mind to do evil. Every power manipulating my mind negatively. Break in the name of Jesus. Let the spell break in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I declare liberty for anyone held as a born slave to negative thoughts, to negative actions. In the name of Jesus, let the remote controlling power lay siege over your mind. Lose grip in the name of Jesus. Let the spell crash in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Today, God will enlarge your territory. Today, God will enlarge your coasts. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Let the redeemer of the Lord say so. Congratulations. Please get seated. God bless you. I've discovered you can't sow without something happening. It's not possible. When you sow, you trigger something. It's not natural, it's spiritual. Coming for the first time, a car that has not been sold for the past five months, the seed went to hook the person that must buy the car. That's the truth. The seed went to hook the person that will buy the car. Today, God will give somebody an answer. Yeah. This first service, I'll be taking break out from your comfort zone. Second service, create your own flow. And third service, the power of opportunity. Break out from your comfort zone. Don't forget, we are in a series of miracle job banquets. I'd like to begin by saying that people are essentially in need because they don't really know what they need. I need job, I need job, I need job. People are in need because they don't essentially know what they need. If you ask someone now, why do you need a job? I want to practice accounting. I want to practice as an engineer. Nobody is interested where you practice. Are you what I'm saying? Huh? What they are interested in is, is something coming. Copper, when are you passing out? November. This message is for you. You will hear something now. <laughs> I know you have started preparing your CV. Or it has started flying. <laughs> it has started flying. Now, the end point of job is money. True or false? The end point of your job is getting money to meet needs. I will use them as practical example now. 
They've been giving you money for the past four years. But watch out from December. Your flow don't stop. <laughs> Three of us. Now what they are expecting you, we have been giving you. Now it's your turn to start giving us. You have been drawing from us. Now we need to draw from you. People are essentially in need because they don't really know what they need. And when you know what you need, you can define your road. You can define your road. Do you know why most of those economic professors are only quoting theory? Let them come out to the market. I hope you know they can't come out. I will tell you why they can't come out. They are in their comfort zone. And too much comfort can ruin your life. Damage your glorious destiny. Too much comfort will hinder you from attaining God's best for you. Too much comfort. I take a very classic example. Who has seen an aquarium before? You have seen an aquarium. Now they put the fish inside a box. He will just be swimming. Bele, 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 bele. He's enjoying himself, Abby. Okay, let's take outside an aquarium. Take for example now, a fish inside a, a tank. He will be feeling very excited that I'm covered, I'm protected. But the truth is that as far as you are inside there, your growth is what? Limited. It cannot grow beyond that point. The growth is limited. Why? Because its environment is in a confined I remember visiting a fish farm in Delta. I think that's one of the biggest. They have over 52 ponds, and each of the pond is like um, 200 meters. One is almost, the width is as big as the size of this church. Are you getting me now? The length, 200 meters. So which means the fish have enough space. They have enough space to play and grow, explore. But if it is kept in a confine, it cannot grow. Do you agree with me? It cannot grow. It is caged. It is locked up. And that's what many of us are looking for. Job. Job. Have you sent your CV to this site? Have you sent your CV to this site? You didn't come to planet Earth to be writing CV. What makes you too comfortable can ruin you. When you come out to the open or out of your comfort zone, that is the only chance you have to grow. I've discovered the air condition they put for you is squeezing your brain. <laughs> Somebody is angry with me. I will tell you why. It's a deception not to think well. You sit in the office in the morning after the cleaner must have finished cleaning. Sir, will you drink tea or coffee? What they are doing is um, locking your brain. But there is a limit to which they can lock it. Which I'm still going to show you now. Now you may think that you have a comfortable job. 
But there is no job that will be too comfortable when need arise in your family. Am I correct? I've had friends that work in Shell, some in Chevron. I have some, I have some um, friends who are bank managers. They grew to the level of becoming regional bank managers. I met one at the airport last year. He said, Pastor, forget all this. This is all deception. They tell you, be focused, be focused. Work, work, work. But after I lost my job, and I knew that I was deceiving myself. I said, why did you say so? He said, now nah, I have needs. I can't meet them. Your needs will be pursuing you like a shadow. You can't run away from them. The only way you must come out out of this job syndrome is to break loose from your comfort zone. Your comfort zone creates an order for you. You are limited on what you can do, what you can achieve, what you can dare. Do you know that even in that your comfort zone, your sense of initiative is suspended? It's suspended. So the comfort zone cr kills creativity. It creates inaction. It creates inaction. Permit me to say this. You can work for Dangote, but you can't own Dangote. Did you get that? You can work for Dangote, but you cannot own Dangote. Your employer, our employer, any person's employer, only pays you 10% of your rewards. They set targets that you must meet, but you never set targets for your own family that you will meet. They set targets. Like now, if you're working in a bank, some they give them some outrageous target, three billion. If you don't get three billion, we fire you. No, they are not telling you they will fire you, they only want to stretch you. But you ask yourself, tell yourself the truth. How much have you stretched your own self for your own personal goal, for your family need? They stretch you. Okay, you manage and did one point. They say you, you try small. What they now do from 3 billion, they raise it to 6 billion. He's trying small, so let's push him. What they are trying to do, stretch more. Are you a mumu? When have you been able to stretch yourself more for your goal, for your family? Because their needs must come. And funny enough, it's not me, my wife, and children. Extended relations are waiting for you. Am I correct? You can't speak in tongues for them and cover their face, oh. If nothing is coming from your end, since he married that in wife, only God knows he don't give and chop. Am I saying the truth? <laughs> Hear me? Tell your neighbor, break out from your comfort zone. I know many will not like what I'm saying now. Because of one thing called the fear of failure. Fear of what? Failure. If you are afraid to fail, you also be afraid to succeed. Successful people don't fear failure. You can make mistake. Are you getting me now? But you will learn the lesson. You can make mistake. But you will learn the lesson.
One thing you cannot succeed in doing is predicting challenges. Can you predict challenge? Can you predict your extra bills that will come? They, they are not predicted. They just come. But amazingly, they don't ask you whether your salary is 60000 or 70000 they have come, they have come, so they must be solved. Through of us. And if you do nothing about them, it can destabilize everything about you. Do you know, challenges have a way of crippling potentials. Challenges can create depression. Challenges can kill your morale when they are not attended to. That's why the safest thing you can do for yourself is to break out from your comfort zone. I know someone will tell me about job security. Which job is now secured? Call the name of one. Well, I'm not trying to like say um, looking for civil service job is not good. That's civil prison. I hear what I'm saying now. <laughs> it's what? Civil prison. So I know many of you now you are aiming to apply for federal civil service job. You are going for civil prison. The reason why I'm coming this way is many have lost their dream. They have lost their dream. And the worst thing that can happen to any man or any woman or any family man or um, about to be a father, about to be a mother, is to lose your dream. Is to lose your financial goal. Job can be a starting point, but it shouldn't be the limiting end. It can be a starting point. So your comfort zone can limit you from achieving the best you desire. No one can grow in his comfort zone. But rather, you can only grow in your uncomfortable zone. I learned from Bishop Abiyue, people think best. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? When they are bombarded with challenges. Through of us. Have you discovered that when challenges are around you, that's when your brain works well? <laughs> Am I correct? So don't see challenges as enemy. They help you to think correct. They set your head in order. Somebody may tell you, don't dare it. You will fail. What if you succeed? You're only thinking of the failure side. What if you succeed? What if you succeed? I bring us back to the initial statement. The essence of job is money. And the reason for the money is to meet needs. When your job is no longer able to meet your need, it will create dissatisfaction. Don't forget this. Write it down. When your job is not able to meet your needs, it will create dissatisfaction. It will create concern. You will even begin to feel pity for yourself that the, there are needs, but I can't meet them. What is happening to me? Nothing is happening to you. The thing is that you have not started thinking well. 
Let's read this scripture. Genesis 21 and verse 19. And God opened her eyes and she saw a well of water and she went and filled the bottle with water and gave the lad to drink. And God was with the lad and he grew and dwelt in the wilderness and became an archer. And he dwelt in, and he dwelt in the wilderness of Paran and his mother took him a wife out of the land of Egypt. But before this, they say, why die of thirst? Look around. There is a well of water just by there. Tell your neighbor, look around. Yeah. That job is not designed to tie you or kill you. It's to enable you look around. Permit me to bring it this way. Every job you have now gives you a platform to go higher. It's a platform. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's just a platform. It's not your dead end. It's just a platform to go higher. Explore higher. It's a platform to go higher. What a job will do for you is to create what we call relationships. Every job you have now gives you an opportunity to relate with people. Because you don't know who you are meeting per day. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Some of the people we meet are opportunities for our next level. And I pity any man or any woman or any brother or any sister in this church that have a bad relationship. You will not succeed. It's not a cause. It's a garment. Why? Success in life is a network of friendship. Mike Mudo called it the golden rule of success. Don't be a snob. Don't wear a proud garment. You will drive away your success helpers. It's another point for you to break out from your comfort zone. The person sitting by you could be the one that has the information that can trigger you to success. Yes, I'm telling you. I remember sharing this message in one of our services last year. One of our sisters, she's into um, material business. She travels to uh, Senegal, to China, to Dubai, or manner. Not knowing that the person sitting by her is another outlet for her to be making millions. That lady gave her just one connection, and from that one connection, she made sales of almost five point something million. One person. If she were to be a snob, the person will hear me. People that will help you, they can keep quiet and be watching you. I'm the one telling you. I'm an expert in what I'm saying. They will keep quiet and be watching you. Be misbehaving, they will lock up. Your misbehavior will make them lock up. You have missed the face. Break out from your comfort zone. Do you know that simple good morning? God bless you. You have sent a signal. A very simple thing. I want to share this testimony now. One of my very close pastor, very friendly person, is a manager in UBA. I shared him with him an opportunity in 2015. He said, Pastor, be focused. I didn't feel humiliated though. I allowed him. Why? Because I knew that money reality will catch up with him. 2016 
the first son gained admission into Covenant University. And you know Covenant University school fees. The following year, another one got, no, 2015. Then 2016, the second child, the daughter now, got admission. Man. Bang, bang. <laughs> he now called me one midnight. He said, hey, Pastor, that thing you were talking about. I said, what? He said, that opportunity you are showing me. I said, Pastor, be focused. <laughs> Shabi, you told me be focused before. I said, Pastor, be focused. He said, sir, you better do something, no? The first one I've entered, the second one I've entered. Only school fees alone, 1.4 million, they come out. That's not feeding money. That's not a provision or that thing. He said, how much be the salary? I said, be focused. <laughs> <laughs> now, what I'm trying to tell you, now he wants to break out from his comfort zone. He wants to break out. His salary is around them. Um, I think it should be around four fifty or five fifty or thereabouts. But he can't pay all. Even if they add all the allowance, he can only pay one. So he said, "This one way they answer me like this. Well, I'm coming to meet you." Now he is physically stepping out from his comfort zone. Now hear me. There's a proverb in my place. My dad, eh, he taught me plenty of proverbs. He said, don't say that this is this thing, you will not eat it. Because when dry season come, that will be the first thing you will eat. Did you catch that? Now, the things he felt he could not do because of his status. Now, he was willing to drop tie. He was willing to drop suit. Why? Challenges were hitting him right on his head. And funny enough, now they have entered. The flow must be regular. True or false? So every month, nothing less than 100k must drop. It's time to break out from your comfort zone early. So that you can be innovative. So that you can be creative. So that you can explore opportunities. Don't feel satisfied with that little change. I call it change. Change that be, before the month end, it has even finished. It has not entered your hand, but it has finished. Some people's change finish by 15th of every month. I think I'm making sense to somebody now. Some people's change are mortgaged. The one for this month, it has already been mortgaged for next month. It's time to break out from your comfort zone. God himself said, he that must not walk, let him not eat. Don't say, the, there's no job anywhere. It's a lie. Money is everywhere. Where can money be found? Let me put it this way. Number one, but we expand more in the second service and third service. Money can be found in people. Every business needs people. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Doctors need patients to be sick. Mother. Am I correct? Doctors need patients to be sick. The person selling caskets is praying that somebody should die. <laughs> True of us. Oh, you think they are just building those blocks for nothing? They are praying that somebody should die. 
<laughs> Am I correct? Even as we are in Lafia now, some people are praying that the life situation should not change. So that they will be selling touch. Am I, say, am I making sense to somebody now? Every business needs people. So money is in people. The earlier you break out from your comfort zone, the earlier you arrest your challenges early. If your challenges are not arrested early, you may develop high BP. I hope you know there's a way challenge can come before you know what's happening. High blood pressure don't catch you. Say they think too much. Thinking is not bad. Thinking is good. But he's thinking of a um, financial challenge that he couldn't meet. So a challenge. He just, he just colo enter one place. When you break out from your comfort zone, you are no longer predictable. That's why financial change or turnaround can only take place in an unpredictable environment. Somebody asked me one day, Pastor, are you still a winner, Pastor? I asked, any problem? He said, are you doing business? Do you know my reply? Can you pay my children's school fees? He said, no, I'm just asking, you know. I said, have you given me profit offering one day? I said, you better close your mouth before I close it for you. If they fail, it's my fault. It's not God's fault. Papa said, you are absolutely responsible for the outcome of your destiny. You are not responsible. I'm responsible. So waiting for when manna will fall, ah, that time has passed. You don't need to wait for manna to fall. You need to go and look for the manna wherever it is now. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? I've discovered also, which is part of what you need, when people lose their job, their comfort, their head is correct. Why do you need to wait for when you lose your job before your head will be correct? Is a sign that you were not thinking well before. It's a sign that your brain was suspended. It's a sign that you have lost touch with your ultimate dream. It's time to break out from your comfort zone. Your problem is not job. Your problem is how will I meet my needs? My family needs. Don't say this job will not allow me. It's a lie. You are only lying. When challenge comes, the job will allow you. Am I correct? The job will not. It's a lie. Everybody has time. Everybody has what? Normal working hours is eight. Multiply eight by seven is 56. How many do you use to work? A 
many do you play with? Everybody has 24 hours per day. Multiply by 7. How many hours do you sleep? How many hours do you use to gossip? How many hours do you use to discuss irrelevant things? How many hours do you put in that your dream? How many hours do you use to pursue that your goal? Do you know that if you just give two hours per day, two hours per day, there will be a turnaround. Two hours per day, a change will take place. It may not work from the initial as you want, but if you keep at it, in no distant time, it will be generating results for you. It's time to break out from your comfort zone. It's time, it's time. Tell your neighbor it's time. So if you must achieve more, do more, get more, break out from your comfort zone. I didn't say you should disobey company order. What I mean by breaking out of your comfort zone is thinking beyond what you are earning now. What can I do now that can be better, bigger than what I am doing now? That will add value, create satisfaction, and guarantee rest for every one member of my family. Because until it is well with your family, it is not well with your work. Don't say I can't. If you say you can't, when challenges come, you will can. That's the truth. I remember one Zenith staff I met last year. He was forming office. Um, Wearing tie. You know, tie can deceive. <laughs> I was forming tie. Every morning you wear tie, go and balance in the office. Your condition will be blowing your head, blowing your head, your, blowing every part of your body. It's helping you not to think well. But look at what happened to him. When he was about to marry now, you see, least. And funny enough, he was marrying from the east. <laughs> he now came to meet me he said he said master i go do this thing now i said ah you're a banker now you can just raise the check <laughs> he said draw from where i said draw it from there he said no 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 on a more serious note i need to do something i said ah when, the thing has been waiting for you, waiting for when you are ready for it. See, he, he told me honestly, he said, sir, if I look at this salary, I will not marry for the next five years. I said, okay, what do you want? I don't know what you are talking about. Is it for us to contribute money for you to marry? So you let us know. He said, I need to start doing something now. The next thing I asked him, will your job allow you? Guess what came out of his mouth? I'm ready to do anything now. I said, but you told me your job will not allow you. Now your job wants to allow you. Jesus said, I must walk the works of him that sent me while it is day. For the night cometh when no man can do what? Let me summarize with this. If you fail to break out from your comfort zone and you are married, you are in trouble. Let me tell you where your trouble will start. If you don't break out from your comfort zone, you watch your children, they finish primary school enter secondary school, your heat don't increase. You have not buy land. 
you have not built a house, you are in trouble. Which means, when they go to village, everybody will squeeze inside one room. You are in big trouble. Now they now enter university. Your trouble has been compounded. Is somebody thinking well now? Huh? Your problem has been what? Compounded. It's better to start now and grow big than never to start at all. Because if they do, they, if they catch up with you, you may not build that house. If you try at all to build, you will build boy squatter. Say with me, God forbid. It's time to break out from your comfort zone. You have been too comfortable enough. That's why you are not thinking well enough. Stop thinking like a bachelor. Think like someone that has a dream that is bigger than a bachelor. And before you know what's happening, let me tell you this. Thoughts have a way of magneting opportunities. I call it the law of attraction. I will teach it someday, not today. Anytime you are thinking in a particular direction, either the information is coming your way or God is connecting you with people that will help you see it through. It's called the law of attraction. You attract into your life your dominant thoughts. You attract into your life your dominant thoughts. And hear me and hear me well as we get ready to pray. If the only thing you can think of is your salary, then God is irrelevant. Write it down. If the only thing you can think is your salary, God is irrelevant. What you are in other words saying is that uh, God cannot prosper me beyond this salary. God cannot increase me beyond this salary. You locked up yourself. God didn't lock you up. What he said that my God shall supply all my needs. So by the time you begin to think it, he will begin to make a way where there is no way. I see today marking the end of every financial limitation in your life. Everyone I see here now has the capacity and potentials of becoming billionaires. You better say amen. amen. Some people are even afraid of saying the enemy because of their village. Do you know why some people are afraid? I don't want them to know that I'm rich before they will come and kill me. When God gives the blessing, he preserves the blessed. Are you wrong saying now? Rise up to your feet. Thank God for jobs. The essence of job is to get money. And the essence of money is to meet needs. If the job is not meeting all your needs, it will obviously create dissatisfaction. You will crave for more. Breaking out of your comfort zone means I need to start doing something extra. When God sees your effort, he releases grace and favor. But when there is no effort, he won't put any grace. He won't put any favor. You are going to pray. Lord, stretch me. That's a hard prayer. Don't say I can't do it. Scripture says I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Lord, stretch me. What you have not done before that can bring profit, that can bring success, say to yourself, I can. I don't think failure, I think success. Even if they say nobody has done it, let me examine it well. If I want to do it, I will enter. Lift up your voice and pray, pray Lord, stretch me. Lord, bring me out of my comfort zone. Help me to dear opportunities that will guarantee my success 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, stretch me. Help me to be daring to opportunities. Stretch me. Help me to be daring to opportunities. Lord, stretch me. Help me to be daring to opportunities. Help me to take initiatives that will create success. Guarantee open doors and progress. Lift up your voice and pray. Every form of fear that has limited you, let it break. Every form of fear, every spell of fear, let it crash in the name of Jesus. I arrest that fear now by the blood of Jesus. Every form of fear arresting my mind, catching me on the same spot, I command it to break in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Until Jesus becomes your Lord, it cannot guarantee you your change. You can be in church and not be in Christ. What scripture say? If a man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Not if a man be in church. You can be in church and not be in Christ. Jesus is our only remedy for a more better and a fulfilling life. You want to make it right with Jesus wherever you are right now? Put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you pray this prayer with me, wherever you are right now, take a step, carry your bag and your Bible and come forward. I want to pray with you. Put your hands together for Jesus. You pray this prayer with me. Just come right now. Come, come, come. God bless you. You don't need to be ashamed. Let me hide myself in me. If you are coming, come quickly. Put those hands together for Jesus. caged you and limited you the yoke is destroyed amen. if you are saying amen say better amen. amen from today watch out no power will be able to limit you again amen. if you are saying amen say better amen. amen you will be breaking forth on every side amen. if you are saying amen say better amen. amen no power will hold you down to slavery again amen. any force making you to do things against your wish the yoke is destroyed in the name of Jesus. It shall be well with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Put those hands together for Jesus for them. Just turn and follow this brother now. Turn. Follow this brother now.